Item number SCP-3081. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. The mouth of the access road leading to SCP-3081 has been camouflaged via standard foundation forestry protocols. SCP-3081 should be checked routinely and any notable changes documented. Civilians discovered accessing SCP-3081 are to be interrogated, amnesticized, and released. Description SCP-3081 is an irregularly shaped extra-dimensional space. Note, dimensions, 915 meter by 610 meter by 305 meter by 259 meter. Accessible via a dirt road in incorporated Perkins County, South Dakota, USA. The exterior of SCP-3081 appears to be a grove of mixed deciduous trees smaller than the internal dimensions. Within SCP-3081 is a grassy plain surrounded by thick forest, similar in species to that of the outer area. Weather patterns inside SCP-3081 do not match those of the surrounding area, tending toward fear, with only intermittent light rainfall observed. Items such as Tin pails and wooden stools have been found within SCP-3081 on occasion. SCP-3081 also contains nine instances of SCP-3081-1. SCP-3081-1 are large organisms resembling human hands. Note, average height, 1.4 meters. SCP-3081-1 locomote using the thumb and index, ring and little fingers while the middle finger acts as a head. SCP-3081-1 lack fingerprints. Genetic analysis of sampled material has revealed a 75% match to human DNA, with the remainder unknown. All instances bear skin depigmentation consistent with Federico. Emerging from the back of each instance is a proportionately sized human arm that extends into the tree line, Attempts to find further anatomical features, such as joints past the wrist, have been hampered by the thickness of the surrounding forest and the skittish nature of SCP-3081-1. It is unknown whether the arms have a terminus. The behavior of SCP-3081-1 is similar to that of common cattle. They display herd behavior and are generally docile unless disturbed. Though SCP-3081-1 lack mouthparts, their typical behavioral pattern involves brushing the tip of the middle digit across the surface of the grass. No plant material is excised during this process. It is not known if this behavior is necessary for the survival of SCP-3081-1. The SCP-3081-1 herd currently numbers four left hands and five right hands. Addendum 3081-1 On the 4th of August 2005, it was noted during a routine entry into SCP-3081 that SCP-3081-5 had formed itself into an OK gesture, while SCP-3081-1 1L2 repeatedly inserted and removed its thumb from the O. This action continued for the full length of time personnel were present in SCP-3081. 1 hour 25 minutes. Addendum 3081-2 On the 22nd of May 2006, two new instances of SCP-3081-1 were noted. Both were right hands, considerably smaller than all previous instances. SCP-3081-1-R7 was malformed, possessing only a thumb, index, and middle finger. Though SCP-3081-1-R6 was noted to maintain close proximity to SCP-3081-1-R5 at all times, SCP-3081-1-R7 was unable to move from where it lay. As 
Other instances of SCP-3081-1 maintained distance from SCP-3081-1 R7. It was decided to harvest the instance for study. Initial attempts were hampered by aggression from SCP-3081-1L instances. The only time aggression has been noted in SCP-3081-1, but on the 5th of June, 2006, SCP-3081-1 R7 had ceased all motion, and personnel were able to complete the harvesting procedure without interference. The arm of SCP-3081-1 R7 was severed one meter above the wrist. Personnel reported hearing a low moan on the arm receded into the tree line. No pursuit attempt was made. Since August of 2006, 18 more new instances of SCP-3081-1 have been discovered at a rate of 1 to 2 every 9 months. All but one have some form of major physical abnormality, rendering them incapable of surviving past a few weeks. Harvest and vivisection of these instances has fueled the Foundation's understanding of SCP-3081-1 physiology. Addendum 3081-3 On the 15th of November, 2015, during a routine examination of SCP-3081, no instances of SCP-3081-1 could be located inside the anomaly. Drops of a viscous fluid were found in central area of the clearing. The fluid was later identified as a slurry of skin, muscle, tissue, and bone, with a 74% match to human DNA. The drops were noted to describe a square approximately 90 meters to a side. Monitoring of SCP-3081 is to continue at a reduced rate to prevent civilian access. Addendum 3081-4 On beep, a Foundation agent discovered skin cream products marketed by soft hands at the Publix in Orlando, Florida. All products were seized and placed in storage. Analysis of the products reveals a composition of approximately 35% human muscle tissue. In an interview, the store manager claimed to have been contacted by a sales representative and after agreeing to carry the products, a pallet of skin cream was included in the usual shipment of cosmetics. Attempts to trace the origin of the shipment have so far been unsuccessful. The product label is reproduced below. Soft hands, hand milk, hand and skin cream lotion. Enjoy this limited time run of soft hands, hand milk, hand and skin cream lotion. Rub soft hands, hand milk, hand and skin cream and lotion upon your hands and skin and hands daily to get soft hands, super soft feeling hands. Made from all natural organic products with no animal testing. From our heads to your hands, please take care of your hands. They're the only hands you'll get.